Well, I've got to come to the dentist again today in Puerto del Rosario. I've come early to have a little walk around, show you a bit what it's like. Go through the pedestrian shopping centre, I think, and then uh, we'll walk along the harbour back to the dentist. So here we are, high above the capital of Puerto del Rosario. And as you can see, it's not very big. At least it's a lovely day, there's actually no wind, probably will be down by the harbour, but uh, here it's fine. No cloud, just the way I like it. Let's go. Doesn't matter where you are, you can always see the cruise ship. And there it is again. So here we are by the main road at the top of the town. The hospital is down that way and the airport. This is about as busy as it gets here by the way. This is sort of almost rush hour. Here we have the Matundas indoor shopping centre. Won't be going in there today though. We're going to head down this way for a bit. So here we are at the start of the pedestrianised shopping centre. I guess it was the main shopping place before they built the uh, indoor shopping centre. Not that many shops here really, but we'll have a look. Entertainment today. There is the inevitable Chinese crap shop though. Like he was some kind of a lawyer. The 
parochial church of Our Lady of Rosario. I think that's this. I shan't be going in because me and churches don't mix. Close as I get to religion. As you can see, it's not a very busy place, and I suspect most of the people at the cafes are actually off the cruise ship, so they're doing very nicely out of them. Well, let's take a little walk down that way to the harbour. I think that's the courthouse over there. Normally there's a load of uh, the usual scumbags sitting outside smoking, just like there would be outside a magistrate's court in the UK. It must be closed now, probably siesta time. I'm pretty sure this is closed now, but it's not the sort of place you'd expect to find in the Canary Islands, is it? It's a long way from England. Well, we're at the bottom of the hill now, almost at the port area. Actually watering the fountain today. Although they are starting to do a few things with the port area, it really needs more money spent on it. Particularly now we get so many cruise ships in during the winter because there could be restaurants along here, all the way along here, but there's only two or three, those there, this little one here we used to go to. Because the cruise ships dock over there. Amazingly there's only one in today. Looks big enough just from behind, doesn't it? I think I said before, I think there's 6,600 passengers on that and about nearly 2,000 crew. It's the only boat in the harbour, well, big boat, only ship in the harbour, should I say. They do like sculpture here, and some of them I actually like. I guess I am a bit of an art. Shut up, noisy motorbike. I am a bit of an art critic. Unlike professional art critics who never seem to criticise. Why they're called critics, I don't know. If it's art, it's good as far as they're concerned. But that isn't the way with me. Most of it is crap. I certainly go, don't go along with this ridiculous idea that it's art if the artist says it's art. But I quite like it down here on the front. But as a port, it's not too bad. Now, having been on cruises and stopped in ports like Port Side and what have you in Egypt, let me tell you, it smells good too. It doesn't there. I imagine there's security in place, so I won't be able to walk right up to the, the ship. I'll give it a go though.
the tour companies are certainly doing a good trade out of these ships in the winter. Lots of coach trips and bike trips and trike trips and all, all sorts of things. Jeep safaris. Of course, what the uh, tourists on the ship don't realise is actually there's not that much to see here in Fuerteventura. Unless you like nature and lovely beaches. There are a few restaurants about along the next street up. They've got terraces overlooking the harbour. Sue and I have eaten in that one, it was quite nice. So that we ordered, I think it was ham and eggs, which looked quite substantial on the picture. And when it came, they were quail's eggs. So they were minute. They didn't exactly uh, fill our stomachs. Yep, yeah, just as I thought. Can't get any further than there. Unless I try and make myself look like a German tourist. I don't know whether I'll get away with that. I guess I won't. Amazing. I think the first cruise I ever went on was a P&O cruise on the Sea Princess. I think only the top six suites had balconies. Nowadays, just about every room has a balcony on a cruise ship. We'll take a little look down here. Probably goes nowhere. It comes down to the uh, nautical club. Yeah, nice sound of some waves, albeit little ones. This walk hasn't taken as long as I thought. I think I'll probably have time for a coffee before my dental appointment. Where well, they're going to carry on with the root canal fillings. Right, now we're heading to the uh, beach area. Oh, great, he just started up again. I really dislike this up here. This guy's here playing his drums to a music track. Every day, it seems, and it's just way too loud. If I was living here in Rosario and came down to the beach for a quiet lie in the sun, and I had to listen to that all day, I'd get really, really peed off. Nobody in it for a second. You man lying on the beach listening to that all day. At least he's got the tempo right. Sort of German umpa music for all the German tourists. They did recently refurbish this beach, so it gets an awful lot more use now. I'm sure the camera's still picking up that guy's uh, Muzak. 
so I think you can see what I mean about it being so bloody intrusive. Well, I sort of like it until you realise what it is, and it's obviously a cockfight. Which isn't really uh, great, is it? Yeah, you can find these lime kilns all over the island. It was one of the biggest industries here. Actually making lime. And this one seems to have been the oven of the Morales family. Oh, it was constructed in 1930. That's a surprise. I thought it would be older than that. Lime was exported mainly to Tenerife and to a lesser extent to Gran Canaria and La Palma. Palma. And it's an indispensable material for the hydraulic infrastructures. Really? How odd. Yeah, right. I see. So it was actually used to waterproof the, whatever you want to call them, the water pits they used to keep the drinking water in. Well, that's not a bad little pad, is it? It's got a nice dog too. Right in the centre of Rosario, but pretty quiet, and this is your view. I'll make him an offer. Well, there's one thing about today's dental appointment. At least it's at an appropriate time. Tooth hurty. Haha. <laughs> well, I'm just going to grab a quick coffee, I think, and then head for the dentist. It's going to be very painful today because I'm actually going to be paying for all my treatment in one go. I'm having three implants and a crown. So we're looking at well over 4,000 euros. Ouch. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next week, bye.